Hello. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, November 13th, 2023. It is 30 degrees. And yes, we had frost. I love a frosty morning. So I'm on my way to work. And not much happened this weekend. I've got a little sinus headache that I need to take a Mucinex for. See if that won't get rid of it. And then, other than that, it's just a, it's just another weekend. I went up to one of the grocery stores that I never go to and took a walk through with Dave. That was our date this weekend. <laughs> yes, I know. Bought a pack of coffee, the Dunkin' Donut Holiday Blend, and I bought some eye drops because they had some eye drops that my eye drops sustain uh, on clearance. I guess, I don't know why they were on clearance. The date was still fine. I, I don't get it. Other than maybe they just, I don't know. They Sometimes these places have a certain, they can't leave something on the shelf for very long. So, got to make room for the new. And that's why they put it on clearance. Anyway, I'm on my way to work, as I said. I have on my Outer Banks sweatshirt that Dave bought me for my birthday. And... That's about it. So I put up a post yesterday on Instagram about my jeans. And you know, I got to thinking, I didn't even count my jeans that was in the basement. I've got 32 pairs upstairs. <laughs> and I didn't count what was downstairs. So you're probably gonna have to add in at least another 10 to 15 pairs downstairs. And I still keep shopping for jeans. And I'll tell you why. I go through these spells that I want to wear the jegging type, and then I'll go through spells where I don't want to wear them. And I've got more jegging type jeans than I do just button fly or, you know, <clears throat> regular. Regular skinny leg, uh, straight leg, whatever. I am not into the wide leg jeans that are out. You know, most every pair of, normal pair of jeans I could buy, and they'd be wide leg on me, at least part of the way. And it just looks ridiculous. If I wore heels, I might consider them, but I don't wear heels anymore, so. I don't wear heels anywhere. I'm not going to wear heels anywhere. Those days are gone. If you still want to wear heels, more power to you. And yes, I, 10 years ago, I would have said, I will always wear heels. Something happens that one day you just say, they're not worth it. So I was watching, you know, my friend, the other, uh, I don't know what video I was watching. I guess it was a Friday shopping video. And she had some boots in there that I really liked. Now I don't buy many knee high type boots anymore or long boots because they make my legs hurt but you know I'll buy I'll wear them occasionally and I thought these look really nice <clears throat> and she said they weren't expensive well I should have known when she said that that her definition of expensive is a lot different than my definition because When I looked at them, $189 to me is expensive. And I know that it doesn't, I mean, I know they're not $400 or $800, but anything over a hundred is just a little bit out of my reach that I'm willing to pay. Why? because I don't, I don't wear them that much. And I just, even if I had the money, and I mean, I yes, I could go in debt for them if that's what I wanted to do. But I'm not, I just don't, and they're 
probably would have been a time I would have, wouldn't have hesitated if it was something I really, really wanted. But I'm going to watch them and see if they go on sale. And they, you know, they probably won't ever go 50% off. But they might. And if they do, I might buy them. But to me, $189 is steep. Too steep for me. But hey, if you want to put that much into it, you go right ahead. Who am I to judge? Just like I wouldn't put, you know, more than $100 in for a pair of jeans. And I don't know that I'd even pay $100 this day and time. Now, you know, I'm wearing the Judy Blues today that I think I talked about in another video. I made it have and didn't put it up. Who knows with me? And you know, I didn't like them at first, but I will say the longer you wear them, the softer they get. So I'm starting to like them. Now, are they the best jeans ever? No. <laughs> like some of these ads say, no, but they're fine. I still think $70 is too much for them. You know, if you can, look on Poshmark, because you can find them on Poshmark or Macari. And even Facebook Marketplace. Of course, a lot of the Facebook Marketplace is local stuff. They don't want to mail them to you. But anyway, that's just my opinion. And what I was getting on with the jeans is that I can't stop looking for jeans. As I said, I just, I keep looking. I would like to pair have a pair of Aria jeans, but they don't go, they don't fit me. They don't even go to my size. And I know that's terrible to say that, but they don't. They don't make them big enough for me. It's really sad that they stop at a certain point. And I'm not telling, I mean, I know that sounds. And yes, I know I need to lose weight, but still. And I guess that's a good thing because I won't buy them now because I know I can't wear them or they'll be so tight I can't stand it. Now, another brand that I have found that I really like, and they go up to a 24, I think. Not that I wear a 24, and there's nothing wrong if you do. God, I'd get myself in trouble today. <clears throat> I'm just speaking in general. I'm not mean anything by anything I'm saying. Remember that I'm just speaking in general and giving my opinion on things. <laughs> Is Wallflower, I know I said it one time and I said it wrong. Anyway, those jeans are nice jeans, but they're thin. Now, if you want heavy jeans, those, those aren't the way to go. But they're still more toward the, the 90s look. And they, I compare them to the Miss Me jeans. If you like the Miss Me jeans, you're probably going to like these. I would say they're thinner than the Miss Me jeans, but they're made the same way. And they're at Kohl's or Amazon is where I bought my pair. Now the pair I have is just a little tight, but it's not bad. But I would like to lose five pounds for wear them again. And I am on my way, even though I'm still eating sweets, but I'm not eating sweets like I once was. I will say that. And I have to really, if I start to want something, I have to really start getting, I have to do something to make me really busy to wear the that it passes me wanting something sweet. So I ask that you, if you can say a little prayer that I can, I can try to get down 10 pounds by January 1st. That's my goal. I think I can do it. So I've been watching all these videos on Ozemic and Welgary or ever how you say it, whatever, semi-gluten. And I don't want that drug unless it becomes something I really need. But it is very tempting. And I know there's side effects out there. I've seen the side effects. I've seen, you know, everything about it. But now if I went on it and I saw right away I was going to have the side effects that some people have, I'd stop it. I would not keep it up. I'm not one of those people that is so determined to lose weight that... I gotta stay on it. 
But now if I were to get to a point that I had to be on something for, if I, if I was to all of a sudden, you know, I'm trying to watch my A1C become diabetic, I would ask why not take this? Although I know it's more expensive, but you can get coupons if you're prescribed it versus something else if this is going to make me lose the weight to where I can probably get off something altogether. And I realize when you go when you get on it and you go off of it, you run that risk of gaining it back. I realize that. That but that is if you're following some strict diet. And this time it's not that I'm I'm trying to eat some days I eat all meat and I know I probably need to just go back to all meat and be done with it. But there's just sometimes I want a carb and I can't help it. It's just sometimes I want the potato. I want to bake potato. I want to French fry, but I know that I can't keep on having it because it brings back those cravings. I, there's no way I could do it two days in a row because then I would be I mean, I'm addicted, addicted to carbs <laughs> and that I, there's no other thing about it. I'm addicted to carbs. I'm addicted to shopping. It's not that I buy everything I shop for, but I still am addicted to looking for things. That's why I like it when somebody gives me a challenge to find something for them. If I got the time, because it gives me something to do that I like to do. So. I gotta go. It's eight o'clock according to my clock, although it's fast, but I gotta go. So I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all have a great week. See you later. Love you. Bye.